Well, the roads are certainly a big concern, so we want to continue our coverage there. Yeah, Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sam Cantrell, he's out and about. He's always out and about in the middle of it all in the mobile weather lab. Sam, last time we checked in with you, you said it was going to be tough to keep up with the snow as it's coming down so fast and furious. How do you think that's going with road crews? Truly, I think the best way for me to describe that, Scott, is I'm kind of amazed. The road conditions have not really gotten significantly worse, even though the snow is falling at an incredibly, incredibly heavy rate. Uh, we're getting closer right now to uh, exit 9 on I-91 northbound. So we're entering into North Haven. When we were a little bit further south in Milford, there was a lot of sleet that was mixing in. Now, massive, huge, big snowflakes. That's going to allow those snowfall uh, totals to really pile up over the coming hours just as we were expecting to. So this is going to continue over the next handful of hours and it'll obviously make the road conditions worse during that time frame. I mean, there have been a ton of DOT and public works crews, uh, obviously DOT, the ones that we can see on the highways here that have been rolling on through. What we have not seen a ton of, as you can see on this camera in front of us, are other cars. Very few. The only one that's passed by us over the last handful of minutes, that was one of the state DOT uh, supervisors, I believe, that was just checking out the roadway conditions. So people, like the governor was, uh, was saying, obviously paying attention to what they've been saying with this travel ban that's happening across Connecticut. If you do not have to head out the door, what I will tell you is that you are in a much safer situation than somebody who does. If you have to head outside, just keep in mind that even if your road might have been plowed the last 10 or 15 minutes, the street next to you may not have been. And as a result of that, it would cause a very dangerous situation really quickly for you too. Our speed, by the way, we're going uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 miles an hour. So we haven't been going super, super slowly. Uh, we've been getting around, but we have been hitting some of those patches of snow that have been a little bit on the uh, larger side too, especially near the on and off ramps, the places that you can tell the DOT trucks have uh, pulled off to the side. So that's something that you'll definitely encounter if you are headed out there. Again, keep in mind, we are driving a four-wheel drive vehicle, which, of course, is really good in the snow, but visibility, not very good. And I will tell you one thing, if these snowfall rates continue, it's going to be really, really hard for DOT crews to be able to keep up. So we'll keep checking in with you. We are live now on Facebook, on uh, WTNH's Facebook page. You can ask your questions there. We'll keep you updated throughout the entire day. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Sam, great information. We have